Oh hey, it's me, Olive, and welcome back to my channel. April has ended. You know what that means. Part two of April showers brings me flowers. Yay! I know, it's about time. Is it? It is. So in today's video, we're doing a look inspired by May flowers. I made it like an outfit and everything. It's gonna be really cute. So if you wanna see what that looks like, then keep on watching. But before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out all my socials at the Olive Cox. I made it easy for you. You're welcome. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you want to share this video, that would be lovely. We love doing that. We love sharing. Sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, before we get into this video, I'm going to go shave my face, get my contacts in, go get rid of this boy, and I will be right back. Ooh. All right, and I'm back, and as you can see, I have my base all done. Back in the base to snatch, yes. So let's get into this eye look. I'm gonna be dipping into a few different palettes, so if you have shades that correspond use um right now i'm dipping into a pink shade and just placing that in my crease this look is very like floral inspired florals for spring groundbreaking uh, dusting off the excess and just placing that in my crease right now i'm using the shade blend and snap in the nikki tutorials palette mapping out my crease and then i'll further blend it out after how many of you caught my last video? Thanks for watching. This is part two to that video. So you know the saying, April showers bring May flowers. So this will be very feminine, floral fantasy. That's what we're going for. And to achieve a more feminine shape, I'm going to create a more rounded eye shape than you know, the normal like snatch look I do. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I made sure I put a lip on too for you guys because you've seen me without a lip. We don't need to go over it. It's hideous. But I did like a neutral lip. It's like uh, your lip color, but better. Or my lip color, but better. All right, and taking a fluffier brush with that same pink, I'm just gonna blend that out. And then with whatever leftover product you have, I'm just gonna blur the edges. Okay, next I'm gonna place a little bit of white in the brow bone to highlight it. Doing this will help further blend out the pink. Next on a dense brush, I'm gonna take a yellow and place that right in my inner corner. Actually, before I go any further, I'm gonna place some translucent powder under my eye just to bake everything and catch any ball out that falls down my face that way it doesn't disrupt my like foundation and everything because once that mess up messes up like there's no turning back there we go i'm placing more of that yellow and blending it up into that pink on a fluffy brush i'm taking a little bit of that yellow and just blending out the edges of that pink just to create like an orange like color blend this way the pinks are blurred just creates another color just for more fun and i'm placing that pink again just because i feel like we lost some of it also the way you hold your brushes also helps with blending the further you hold the brush from the tip the lighter the pressure easier it is to blend and next i'm going to go into some purple and deepen up the outer third of the eye and purples are very difficult to blend so take your time Grab a drink, grab a Red Bull, go about your business, girl. And I'm just trying to build up that purple as much as I possibly can. But sometimes with purple, when you like layer it up, it doesn't tend to build. So once again, take your time. Lightly with whatever product's left on the brush, just winging that out. I'm just taking a pink and blurring out those edges. Okay, now that I have this blended out, I'm going to cut the crease off camera just to save some time, and I will be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I did my other eye, cut my creases, did all that off camera to save some time. And now let's finish off this look. Um, well, not finish it off. We'll continue doing it. Let's dust off the excess powder. Oh, actually, this look kind of like goes with this shirt. Oh, except, you know, not the orange. Girl, look how fucking orange you look, girl. Right now I'm taking that purple shade we went into and I'm just blurring out the edges of where I cut the crease and where the purple meet just to blend it out and soften up these harsh lines. And I'm just continuing to blend that purple into that white base that we cut the crease with. Okay, next I'm gonna place some blue in between the white and the purple on the lid. For this I'm using the shade Weather Girl in the Trixie Cosmetics palette. All right, I just placed the color and I'm gonna blend it out. And I'm going back in with the white, it's just in the inner portion and blending out that blue. Next, I'm going back into that purple and blending that out. The more time you take blending, the better the result is gonna be. Trust. Gorge. These look very similar. This one's a little more icy. Lighter them, why not? Right now I'm going into a blue shimmer and placing that on my lid with, with my ring finger. This is the shade Mama Tutorials. Right on top of that I'm placing the shade Soap Star from the Tracy Cosmetics palette and placing that on the lid. Beautiful. And just on the outer edge I'm placing the shade Pride from the Nikki Tutorials palette and right where the purple and blue meet. Next I'm going to go in with some liquid liner and line my eyes. And with the dash of black I'm going to meet the liner and the purple shadow just to create more depth. And now I'm going back in with some purple and blending that up. Okay I'm going to go do the same thing to the other eye off camera to save some time and I will be right back. Now that I have the liner all done I'm going to start smoking out the bottom lash line and do some finishing touches and we're all done. What color do I want to do for the under eye? I'm going to take the shade Fishy from the Life's a Drag palette and place that under my eye and smoke it out. And I'm taking a little bit of the blue and some black and just marrying the lower lash line and the upper eyeshadow. Oh, this look is super colorful, super fun, flirty, feminine. Everything I was told not to be growing up. Okay, now that I have the eyes basically all done, I'm gonna add a little more blush because I feel like we lost some of it. You know, just to bring in more color to the face because these eyes have a ton of color. Originally I went in with like a peach colored blush, but seeing that there's a ton of pink, why not add a pink blush? And when I say blush, I mean eyeshadow because we're doing drag. Blush is too soft. You know, Miss Olive Cox doesn't like soft anything. Okay. And contouring a little more. Don't spray a little setting spray. When I say a little, I mean drown in it. Okay, I'm gonna go put my lashes and drag on and I will be right back with the finished look. And this is a finished look, y'all. This April showers brings me flowers. Uh, look is all finished. How do we feel about it? It's super fun, flirty, and feminine. Lots of color, lots of everything. It's 
cute. We love the glitter, we love the blue, we love the pink, all of it. It's just so cute and really makes you feel like spring is among us. And I decided to pair it with some pink hair because, you know, why not match all the pink on my like face with the hair? And I feel like it goes with this like pink in the fabric that I got. How do we feel about this? I like made this little outfit, little like crop with one sleeve. Cute. You made a bow? What's not to love? And I decided to do a little more wearable look today because last week was frightening to say the least. My little sad clown look. Oh, it really like brought the April showers in. And today it's me flowers, bitch. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you check out all my other socials at The Olive Cox for more drag fun. And make sure you're here next week to see what I'm doing. So hit that bell notification so you don't miss out. All right guys, see you next week. Bye.